In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make house music in the style of Purple Disco Machine. It's following on my insanely popular series from the last few months, which you can check out there, some of the best videos. And last week I had so many requests for Purple Disco Machine, I decided to do it this week. I'm going to be using the stock plugins in Ableton Live 10 and nothing else, but you can follow along in any door because the principles still apply. We will be going into kick and bass. We will be going into that disco rhythm. I'll show you how to make chords, add grit and atmosphere, and I'm gonna give you all of the samples and the project file for free. You can download it below this video, so don't forget to do that. As usual, if you dig, give it a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to share this with your friends. Thank you so much for helping me grow the channel this far. And if you haven't already, of course, subscribe for tutorials like this each and every week. So without further ado, let's hop into the door and get it done. Okay, so this is house in the style of Purple Disco Machine. I got so many requests for this last week. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you my magic pad. I've also got one of these lapel mics this week, so it's nice not to have the big mic in the way so I can play the piano. Right, Bosch, first thing is tempo. We are going to go for 122 because it's that disco house type vibe. Next thing is names, Purple Disco Machine. Uh, let's call it Funking. Legend. Okay, so we've named it, we've got the tempo. Purple Disco Machine, what's his vibe? Very disco oriented, the hint's in the name. And if you want to get hints on how to make music that is disco oriented or disco influenced, it's best, and this is something James Wiltshire from the Freemasons told me years ago, listen to the sources that have influenced that artist. So in Purple Disco Machine's case, it would be people like Chic, it would be people or bands like um, Sister Sledge, maybe the Bee Gees as well. Basically, revert to Nile Rodgers. If you want anything awesome in disco, revert to Nile Rodgers. So that is where we're going for. Lots of kind of upbeat funkiness. Uh, so let's get cracking. First thing we're gonna put in is the kick. Um, so I'm gonna delete that grand piano. I'm gonna call this kick. And we're gonna layer two kicks. One of them is going to be a real acoustic sounding kick. And then underneath that, we're gonna put the heavier electronic kick to give it the, the meat if you will. So I'm going to do this in MIDI and I'm also going to give Loop Cloud a spin today um, instead of Splice. I'm not affiliated with, actually no I am affiliated with Loop Cloud to the degree that if you sign up with my affiliate link I get like five bucks or something, I actually don't know how much it is. But uh, this isn't a sponsored video, I just want to use something different for once. Okay so let's get the drum rack, boom. We are going to get a kick in there. Real kick. Let's see. I'm not going to use Loop Cloud for everything. So I'm just looking for a, a, a nice kick that's got some presence to it. I'm just going to program that in. Boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. Yes, that is a reference to Venga Boys. And yes, I do apologize. And now we want that kind of meteor kick underneath that. So we're going to go into my favorites. Um, and we're just going to layer it underneath like so. But we want to get rid of some of these low frequencies in the room kick, like the acoustic one, because we don't want that messing with our main kick. So I'm just going to turn on the filter here and do a high pass filter. It's almost like a clap. I might preview a few different kicks underneath, sorry, on top of our electronic kick. I quite like that one. So we're gonna leave that for the time being. Right, on to the next thing, bass. Now there are two ways you could do bass. You could use the kind of Juno-y bass that um, is prevalent in disco or you could go for the funky real bass. Um, purple, disco machines use, uh, purple Disco Machine uses both of these sounds but I'm going to go for the Juno bass today and we are going to do that using the plug-in analog I think because that will give us a rich analog sound and I'm just going to kind of preview a couple of sounds. Obviously not mate. 
So let's go into bass. These are just the sounds that come with Ableton 10. I'm not affiliated to Ableton 10. There are other doors available. Um, that's almost there already. That's almost there. There's this one called June O, so let's have a listen. I see what they did there. They must name it the same way I name things poorly. Okay, that's even better, cool. Let's do that then. And I'm just gonna do it off every beat. Like in between each kick. There's a lot of kind of noise in that. So we just get a really simple disco groove going. Cool. It's like that body funk tune he did. I think that's what it's called, something like that. You know the one. Right, so I'm just gonna copy and paste that. There's something wrong with that kick. It might just be a bit loud. So I'll take down the acoustic kick. Cool, that is what we're gonna use at the moment. And I'm gonna fatten that bass up a little bit though. And I'm gonna put it up an octave. Which means that we're probably gonna have to do a sub bass as well, but that's fine. Now this is the only, well no, I'm gonna use two plugins that aren't in Ableton, but both of them are free, so it's all good. I'm gonna use the, uh, what's it called? I just reinstalled this, well no, I got a new computer last week, so. I haven't got all my plugins on here, um, but I have got this one because I checked earlier, Camel Crusher, real old school plugin, um, but really cool. It's a saturator and a compressor and it just fattens things up a bit. Turn the noise level down up. So this is without Camel Crusher, and with it. So it's adding some, a little bit of distortion, just to fatten it up a bit. Okay, on to the next thing. We have got the drums, the disco drums. Now you could use a real disco drum loop, you could sample it from an old record, in fact, that body funk track starts like it's got the beat from Billie Jean by Michael Jackson. Uh, are we still allowed to say Michael Jackson on YouTube? I don't know, but I am. So uh, yeah, if you listen to that track, you'll hear the similarity. So let's do add the drums and we're gonna use acoustic real sounding drums as well to get that disco feeling. So let's go into my drum hits. Let's go into some hi-hats. And again, you can get these, all of these included um, if you download the project file below this video. That one will do. You know, it's a crappy sounding uh, hat, but it's, we, we like that bit of grit because it's got the disco feel. So it doesn't matter if it's not perfectly polished sounding. That, if anything, adds to the vibe. So where, where was it? Right, so I'm gonna drag that into my drum rack, program it in. Just on one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, and on the last one, we're gonna have an open hat, actually. So let's add a open hat there. Go into my open hats. And again, a real sounding one, so not those 808 sounding ones. There's a real open hat. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the sustain uh, to full and the release to zero. So when, um, so it'll stop at the end of this. If we left release on full, it would play out the whole sample. 
property and we don't want it carrying on. We want it to stop sharp where we want it to stop. And let's just add some variation in velocity on these closed hats by holding command and down to drag it down just to add a bit of human feel to it. And then I'm just going to copy and paste that. In fact, I'll just have that open hat every other bar, otherwise it gets a bit much. For the main snare and we want this nice and punchy but again we want a real sounding snare let me just see if i got my audio yeah i've got my mono switch on there on the master channel so i can check it all in mono when i need to but it's sounding very mono at the moment anyway but we will be adding some stereo width very very soon so let's get a real sounding snare they lack a bit of power. We want something with some nice high end snap. That sounds good. Let's go for that at the moment. That's our main snare. So add one to every other. You can see it's quite a quiet sample anyway, all that headroom, so we can... Now to add some more width to our drums and a bit more interest, I'm going to add some disco claps. Disco claps, baby. So the way I'm going to do that is find some real sounding claps. Ooh. That's one. That's another one. And I'm going to have these quite quiet in the mix, but pan them out left and right and have them hit just before the main snare to give it a human feel. It's a bit loud at the moment, but uh, I'm zooming right in close, holding um, commands to shift it off the grid. You can hear how loud they are, so let's bring them right down in volume. And I'll check this in mono. So it's quite subtle. There's a lot of reverb on one of them, so I'm going to turn the release down on that. Which one's that? This one, probably. I might just shorten the sample. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pan them left and right. So I've just turned mono off so I'll be able to hear the difference. Um, where are you drums? Come to Papa. Pan one left, one right. Now listen to the width in these drums now. Yes, I accept that width into my life. Now we are going to add a little bit of reverb on the bass. Made an auxiliary channel. Uh, this is my like basic setup, which is why it was already here. We've got a room reverb here with a short decay time, a utility to boost up the gain because these Ableton um, reverbs are quite quiet. And then I've just rolled off the low end with an EQ. And that's very important when adding reverb to bass. So let's tweak that reverb level. You could actually use that same reverb as the main room reverb. So I'm going to add some, some reverb to these drums. Let's open up the I.O. If you press that I.O. device in drum machine and return there, you can right click, create return chain, and then you can choose one of your outputs of your auxiliary channels. So I'm going to choose bass reverb, and then I'm going to close that down, hide that, press S, which means send. So I can now send some reverb to my separate tracks independently of each other, my separate drums, sorry. So 
it's all starting to gel together a bit. Right, before we continue, give me a hell yeah in the comments below if you are liking this and let me know what style of music or what artist you want me to kind of cover the style of next. Leave that comment and let's continue. What does disco need? Always cowbell every single time. Now I'm going to use Loop Cloud as I said for this, so I best open it up. Loop Cloud is, I think you get some free samples. It's a bit like Splice, a bit like the ADSR sample manager. It's a bit like splicing so much that you can uh, search for samples online um, in the cloud, which is great. But the difference between this and splice is the main difference uh, is that you can kind of sync, sync it to your door, which makes things really easy. So I haven't used it much um, again, but there is a link to it below this video. So I'm going to find a cowbell loop. I'm just going to call this loop cloud, actually. So what I'm going to do is drop it in as a plugin. Um, and then let's look for a loop. Okay, it's now synced. So I'm just going to write in cow bell in the search. Make sure I'm searching in the store, not my library on my computer because I want to search for something I don't own yet. Then look for loops. I'm actually going to look in genres as well and go for, I don't know, what kind of. It could be any genre, so I'm just going to leave that as it is and then preview them. So I'm going to play it with my track and preview some. Anyway, and then I'm going to switch the rhythm up a little bit in Ableton. So the way I do that is I just buy the file with the credits which you get each month, um, and then it downloads it, and you can just drag it into Ableton by holding on it. And there we go. So I'm just going to drop that in. I don't want it in clip mode though, so I'll get rid of that and drag it in this into arrangement mode. Where is it? Here we go. And I'm going to switch the rhythm up a bit with it. And I'm going to do that just by going in and chopping up the loop a little bit. That's what I want like the cricket beginning or whatever it was. Can't remember, too long ago. Even I'm not that old. Um, here we go. You can actually edit stuff in Loop Cloud as well before dragging it in, which is another cool feature. I'm just going to use one sound actually and just That goes a bit weird. That looks like it could be pretty much it. There we go, that's the loop that I want. And I'm just going to consolidate that and then I'm just going to duplicate it across the, the track. And with everything else. Cool, yeah, disco baby. Right, let's get rid of some of the low end in that cowbell. And to those drums, I'm going to add a couple of little intro drums as well. So if we go to drum hits, listen to the claps. 
That's kind of nice old school sound. A little drum intro at the end of the loop. Again, listen to your reference tracks to get cues as to what kind of sounds to use. And then a different clap for the... There we go, and that will be a double clap at the end. Nice and disco. Now this clap here, I'm going to add some room reverb to it. clap and intro. Lovely jubbly. Right, next thing. We have got a bit of a shaker, which we're going to add, just to add a little bit more groove, because it's a bit robotic at the moment, which you might want. Um, but I'm going to add a little bit more groove with some 16th shaker. Again, I'm going to use Loop Cloud for this, so let's play it. I'll turn the bass down a bit. I'm going to have to turn everything down because we are clipping on the master chain, not a problem. I can just grab everything like so and then just bring them down a bit. I don't need to grab loop cloud. Okay, I do need to grab, grab the kick though, which I omitted to do. Kick, drum, shaker, bass, cowbell. I'm going to turn the reverb down a bit as well. Cool, okay, as I was saying, shaker, let's get that shaker on the go. Loop cloud, so Let's open it up again. Just put in shaker. Tambourine could work as well, actually. But we're going to look for a shaker. Um, loops, because we want it. Uh, and I'm not sure if we need any particular genre. Let's have a little, little preview of some of them. I want 16th, so. And I'm going to listen to them whilst listening to everything else because the sound and the texture of the shaker is going to be really important to make sure it sits with the other sounds. You'll note I'm barely doing any mixing at all at the moment because selecting the right sounds is like 80% of a good mix. Listening to hear which frequencies need filling up. That's pretty cool. I'll have that. Sunny Jim. Buy file. Hold it. I should download it. Now drag it over. I don't like the initial hit though. So I'm just going to fade that. Now, it doesn't matter if everything's got a slightly different groove because we want it to sound kind of realistic and human anyway, so that just adds to it. Um, I'm going to call that shaker, colour it green because it's a drum, bish, bash, and indeed bosh. And we'll call that cowbell. The trouble with doing these all in one take is when I say something stupid, I can't unsay it. I'm sure you expect that by now. Am 
might have a double clap there. No, I'll leave the double clap to the end. Um, okay, so just a touch down on the volume of those. Intro claps, because they make it clip. Next thing we are going to do is the funky guitar. Yes, funky guitar. So again, we'll use Loop Cloud for this. So we want a little do -ka do -ka do -ka do -ka do -ka do -ka funky lick to give it that disco vibe. So let's loop, get Loop Cloud, guitar, guitar loops obviously, we don't want one shot. And I'm gonna go to funk and soul, I think, which would be, ah, uh, there we go. Let's see what guitar licks I've got. And it's worth noting now, look, this bass line is in the key of A. There's the root note. So we'll look for a guitar lick in A. By going up to key and BPM, A, lovely. short and I don't want you to get bored. So we're going to use this one. Um, I'm going to buy file and I'm going to drag it over. And then I'm going to tweak it a bit in Ableton as well. So it's worth knowing what kind of rhythm I want in my head. I want something kind of off the beat, you know, funky as hell. Bring that back a bit. I don't want that last note changing though. That's cool. So something as simple as that, consolidate it. Then we've got a little funky guitar lick from Loop Cloud, Loop Cloud in the same key as the track. Bit, bit of thriller, bit of a thriller vibe there. I don't want it playing the same on both phrases. There. So that'll do. I'm just going to loop that bit. Now to get that guitar sounding a bit kind of better with the track, I'm going to take it down in volume and I'm going to get a an amp which is an Ableton plugin, just to get it a bit like sharper. So this is off. Nice, we've got a real funky groove going now. Okay, next guys, we, have, we, 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 need, we need a disco stab, don't we? Um, I don't know if, yeah, I'll find one. I'll find one on Loop Cloud, I'll do it quickly. We want like a BOW to start the phrase with. So let's look up, I guess, horn stab. Um, and we do want a one shot. 
because we just want that bow, pow. Okay, this is proving a bit tricky, so I'm going to go into genres and I will look for a disco stab. I'm hoping that will kind of whittle it down a bit. All right, guys, sorry about the edit there, but I didn't want to bore you. I found a stab that does the job I want. So we're going to use this one instead because it's got more impact. Right, so here we go. And we'll tune it. Just by ear. So let's call that a stab. Boom, colour it blue because it's an instrument. Now I want this guitar to be a bit fuller and a bit thicker, so I'm going to put a compressor, I think, before, before the amp. Now after the amp, because the amp will give it some uh, peaks and spikes. And now we are going to go for a bit of a, um, I think a chorus to make the guitar a bit thicker. So this is without the chorus on, and then with it. That's so wider and thicker. Cool, funky lick. Um, and we're going to colour that blue because it's an instrument too. Um, and then we are on to, after that, we are on to the break chords. Yes, so we've done the main, this is the main groove. You know, we'll adjust the levels and stuff in a, in a little while, so don't worry about that. But now we are going to shake things up because I want to show you what kind of breaks that Purple Disco Machine does. And it usually has quite a lovely chord structure and then it can go back to the main um, the main drop afterwards. So I'm going to combine a, a tune that he did, a remix actually, of Dua Lipa. I'm going to use the chords from that because I really like them. So I'm just going to get a piano sound first and I'm going to jam out the chords. We know it's in the key of A. It's probably the A minor, although we can make it either at the moment. Because if we play this um, and play A minor chord, it should sound good. But we could still change it to major because we haven't used a third in the rest of it. Higher State of Consciousness by Josh Wing. So both those chords work, so we can choose whether it's going to be in A minor or A major still. I'm going to do it in A minor because, like I said, I already know the chords that I'm going to play. They go something a little like this. Nice. Sorry about this, Dewar. And in fact, I'm sorry to all of you that you have to hear this, but I love this song. If you don't want to see me dancing with somebody. Something like that. Do, 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 do. You get the vibe. So I'm going to just draw those in. Um, and the way I'm going to do that is just use my usual tactic. In fact, I'm not going to. If you want to see how to draw notes in, you can click the um, the link there. It's how to build chords, even if you don't know any music theory. So definitely do that. Um, I'm just going to do this quickly because time is ticking. Bass notes first. Keeps things easy. Do, 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 do. Right, let's drop those a couple of octaves, shift them down, and then draw in those chords. I'll do it an octave and above for the chords. I'll just 
drop the volume a bit, minus six. I'm just using the same technique I usually use for chords. could actually keep all these chords the same and just have the uh, the bass note change. That chord might need to change. Just get the notes in first and we can tweak them. Why does that move back? What's gone on here then? Oh, I moved that by mistake. What the? So I'm going to drop one of these notes down to make a different inversion, to make it a bit more jazzy. Dun, dun. Cool. Just going to consolidate that. I'm going to copy this piano sequence into a pad sound just to go underneath. And I'm going to do that by going into sounds, pad, listening to some of the sounds. I don't really like these so much. Maybe a pad isn't what I'm after, maybe it's some kind of um, organ, synth keys. That's nice. So I'm going to use that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off this semitone uh, increase so it's not a chord. Um, otherwise, just hitting one note will play that chord. But we want to play the chords we've obviously programmed in, so let's have a listen to them. So that is the piano and the pad layered together. Let's just um, get rid of some of the low frequencies of the pad. And with the piano. Nice. And then we are going to add the guitar lick for the second part. And the drums too. But not the bass. And not the key. Why is this like not hitting on the on the the thing? I've done something really wrong and naughty. I'll shift them over again. I'll have to do that the same down there. All right, let's try again. Bit loud though. I'm going to group those together just for speed of volume change. Add some reverb. Right now we're going to have it hit the same note and just repeat it and loop it um, for the build up.
and we're going to get a nice big riser on that. Uh, let's call it riser. Um, and I'm just going to go into some of the sounds I already have. So I'll go into samples, FX sweeps, sweeps up. We don't want anything too weird. That's kind of disco-y, that's cool. Let's use that. And I'll extend it. Oh no, I'll just play it for the second part of the of the build. See, I want to keep that going up now. Um, I'm just going to draw, I'm going to actually just program on in because it's going to give me more control. So we're going to call it riser and I'm going to get a really simple operator. I'm going to add a couple of oscillators to it. The second one will be a square. Actually, I'll try a triangle. And now I'm going to go to the, uh, we only need one voice playing at once. Pitch bend, we want it to be 24 so we can get have a really nice light rise. So we'll start on A and draw it in, drop it down an octave, two octaves in fact. And then if we click this button here, we can draw in the pitch bend. So I'm just going to drop that right down. Bring that one right up. I want it pitch bending twice as fast though, so I'm going to actually do this. Then I'm going to drop it down and do this. But halfway through, obviously, we'll need to change the note to be two octaves above it. So the second pitch bend starts where the first left off. Shift up twice. Okay, something didn't quite work there. Maybe I need to do it one more octave up. There we go. Cool. And at the end of that build, we are going to have a little disco intro before we drop back into that disco drop. I'm just going to add some width to this um, sound. It's a bit dry. And I'm going to do that with, well, I'll add another oscillator. Let's add. And what we're going to do is we're going to take out a little bit of the low end. We're going to add some auto pan. And we're going to increase the rate as we get closer to the drop. And we're also going to add a little bit of reverb that we're going to kind of bring in as we get closer to that drop too, to give it more size and width. Okay, now we're going to hit that disco intro with some disco toms, like in that Madison Avenue tune. Uh, now I'm not sure where to find those from, so I'm going to go into Loop Cloud. I'm going to go Disco Tom and see how good it is at finding what I want. Look in the store as well. Uh, I'll look for, let's see. 
Yeah, like, like that. That will do just fine. It's not exactly the rhythm I had in my mind, but it is the sound I had in my mind, so... Like laser tom, lasers. Okay. So let's just drag that in. I like that funky guitar lift st lick still going on though. And then we're going to find some vocals for this bad boy because I can't sing like Dua Lipa, nor should I. I'm actually going to add one more thing to the drums because I can feel there's something missing and I think I know what it is. It is some kind of knocking sound that I want. Probably another cowbell, actually. Oh, rain. I'm going to have another cowbell, god damn it, why not? And I'm going to tune it too. By going. Yeah. Just add some, some, some extra frequencies that were missing. We need a sweep going into that. Let's go into effects, samples, and sweep down. Very disco y. That'll do. Loads of reverb on it, whole reverb. I'm doing this quickly, guys, so, you know, be kind. Get a nice big white noise riser. You can use white noise even in disco house. For sure you can. Okay, sweep up. Oh, I like that. We'll have that near the end just to let you know something big's coming. There we go. So let's get some vocals really quickly. Um, I'm going to again use Loop Cloud. Uh, I'm just going to search for A minor female vocals, see what we come up with. And I'm going to loop them over the chords and see how many feels we can collect in the next two minutes. So get ready with your feels collectors. Female vocals. Boom. Loops, yeah, loops is fine. Key A. Genre, funk, soul. Let's, let's have a listen to those. 
And we want long, longish ones. Just whack that in there, get some effect on that ASAP, and get our funk on. All right, 110 BPM, e D warp, 100. Oh, it's Rex. Oh no, does that mean I can't? Never once, I don't know what she's talking about. Okay, I seem to have inadvertently chosen something that uh, a file format Rex that is a bit harder to kind of play with. What's this one? Our voice will be heard, or else I'll repent back and I'll plead it. No. Right, let's make her voice more listenable by compressing the hell out of it. Never once did you presume I could do do this. The one who made me try didn't hold my hand, but always by my side. You're my constant. Sorry guys, I'm gonna have to leave the vocals. I'll find some and I'll add them at the end. Here we get our big fill. <laughs> DJ, I'd like you to order me a taxi, please. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> And after the, like, say at the end of the third break, um, much like in that Dua Lipa track, you could actually have the bass follow those chords and keep those chords playing. So... So we can just have them go up. So, and then if you did want to add sub bass to this, as I mentioned right at the beginning, you could duplicate that track, 
Drop the bass an octave by holding shift pressing down. Take out some of the high frequencies. Just bring in a little bit of sub bass. Just bring in a little bit of sub bass and then you could EQ out the lowest frequencies in the top bass so it's not clashing with the sub bass. Like so, and the same in the beginning part as well. Just to add more weight to it. I'm not playing that vocal, because I hate it. Get the sweep up. Oh yeah, the last thing I'm gonna do is add some crackle. Just to give it a bit more of that um, realistic vinyl flavor. So I'm just gonna loop that really quickly. Compress it, because I can see it's very peaky. Take out the low end, not needed. And have this really low in the mix. So if we listen to just the beats at the beginning. It's really quiet, but it just adds more atmosphere to the tune. And there we have it guys. Disco, purple disco style. So there you have it guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to download the project file and all the samples for free. Give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and until next time, cheers and happy producing.